everybody, it's Kelly and I'm back with another video. Today is a snowy day in my neck of the woods, so I decided since I wasn't going to be working in the morning that I would take some time and scrapbook these two snowy photos of my great nephew. And I love these photos, so I'm so glad to have them done. I've been thinking about them for a while, but I've been working on other things instead. So to start out, um, I used that little dotted kind of like snowflake paper from the Echo Park I Love Winter uh, collection and it's the journaling 4x6 journaling cards paper and um, I thought about using snow and cocoa but that darling red hat of his really stands out and I wanted to emphasize that and snow and cocoa doesn't have red in it it has pinks and teals so I went to I have this kind of red white and blue collection um, and then I also have that snow and cocoa collection. So then I wanted to use some red um, paper somewhere and decided that I would use that red kind of um, snowball paper or snow paper. And that's also Echo Park I Love Winter, uh, the Snowman Friends paper. And I just cut a big chunk of it and I'm going to mount it on that background of uh, like winter words. It's so cute. So it helps emphasize his kind of um, bluey gray little... Um, uh, snowsuit there. So that navy word paper is Echo Park I Love Winter Winter Fun. And now I'm using the die cuts from or the die cut pack or the ephemera pack and trying to decide and that's I Love Winter as well and I decided I love that rounded snowflake but it was a little bit too big to put on the bottom there. I do like that snow banner as well. That was pretty big to put over on the right hand side so I ended up putting that on the top and then I just tucked that rounded striped snowflake um, die cut right behind the journaling card. So at least that's where it's going to, you know, I have it kind of in general where it's going to go right now. So now I've pretty much settled on, that, on this. So I'm just going to get this down. I'm leaving a little bit of a border on the bottom so that you can still see the word paper because I liked the emphasis of the blue still on the bottom. Otherwise, um, I tried covering it up, but I didn't. I, I really like that red reveal. Otherwise, it there wasn't enough blue, and the red was almost too startling, and it um, the pictures blended in more if I'd put the red all the way to the bottom. The way this is, you really focus on the, the pictures with that red hat because he's kind of in the middle. So I'm getting the journaling card down there. I have a little bit to say. Um, this was cute. Daddy had a snow day, so Daddy and Mommy and um, um, Baby H here went out and um, into the snow, and they put him down on the snow, and he tried snow for the first time and didn't really like it. He, he thought it was cold and wet, and that definitely wasn't kind of his thing. So that's what these photos are of. Okay, so now I have pulled out my Felicity Jane um, clear snowflakes. These are from the December 2017 kits and I'm going to put a couple of those on kind of in each of the spots and while I'm doing this I'm texting with um, clients on my iPad because I'm taping with my phone about moving appointments because it we had um, probably eight inches of snow this morning and I'll be going to work later this afternoon once the roads are a little bit more clear. My driveway's been plowed out for probably three or four hours, but the streets are not plowed by me yet. So anyway, um, I am looking, I believe, for an alphabet here. I want red, so I'm kind of going to my thicker storage. And if you ever want to see how I store things in my scrapbook room, I have scrapbook room videos out here in, in um, playlists and organization. All right, so I did try that Eclair Alphabet first, but it's actually not red. It's really um, a deep, deep pink. And I didn't have any wax paper kind of long enough to do this, so I just um, grabbed a piece of wax paper here and cut it. I'm going to use the American Crafts Cherish um, in crimson, which is that Cherish Alphabet's one of my favorites. I have it in the navy color and also the red color as well. And I won't have enough... Um, of some of the letters. I'm going to call this first snow. So I'm going to have to MacGyver a few things. So I'll have to MacGyver an R and I'm going to have to MacGyver two S's. So with the S's it's easy to take an 8 and you just cut off parts of them and then that makes an S. With the R you just have to cut a leg and you can do that from either an X or a K pretty easily. 
So now I kind of have an idea of where I think that title is going to go. And I'm going to get that down because the exactly how I place embellishments with the banner on the top left and then with that snowflake on the top right will kind of depend on where this title lands. I want some space between the banner cluster and um, the title and the snowflake cluster and the title. So that's why I'm getting my title down so early. I don't always do that, but in this case I do, or I did, and I do that. I do do that if I kind of have that going on. And so just getting those letters MacGyvered. And that's a pretty thing. And that the um, eights are like smaller. Some of these letters are bigger and some of them are smaller. It's kind of an interesting alphabet. So um, I'm going to stretch those now S's out just a little bit so they're a little bit taller. Okay, so I have that done. And then what I'm going to do is take the K and cut off all the other legs and I'm going to make an exclamation point like first snow here. Because obviously once he was done touching it, he went to back to his normal smiley self. He is a very smiley baby. And it's so cute because this is when he was first really sitting up and um, you know on his own and so that's also kind of a little milestone here. Now I didn't ink any of these edges um, and I thought about it because the journaling card blends a little bit into that red snow paper but I really wanted to keep these edges clean so I didn't. All right, so then I'm also looking, now that I kind of have a few of the Felicity Jane snowflakes placed down, I'm looking at some of the other things that I could do here. Um, being, I'm going to take little snowballs off this sticker sheet, which is from the Pebbles Winter Wonderland collection, and it's the accent stickers. And I have a few pieces of this few small pieces of paper of this left, or, or not small, but just a couple pieces of paper and then I have some of the stickers left here. So I'm grabbing some snowflakes and some snowballs here, you know, just trying to use things up. They work so I thought that would be cute. And I didn't have another snowflake so I just grabbed the last snowball. So I used up all the snowflakes and all the snowballs here. Uh, it will, it's hard to see these Felicity James snowflakes, clear f snowflakes as I'm working with them, but um, I'll, I've got some still shots at the end and you'll see them really well in those. Um, it, it is a thing that I like about them is that you can put such a big snowflake on here, it's a little bit of um, something, a little bit of shimmer, but you're not seeing a huge piece of it. And I just use my ATG on the back of those, you really can't see it as long as you keep it smooth. So then I was looking at this and I was excited because I had used up a pack of these and then I started to play around with maybe putting a couple more on here. And I'm going to play with the arrangements a little bit here, trying to decide what to do. I'm thinking I need maybe a smaller one at the top there, but um, I didn't think they were working so well in other spots, so I'm still playing. I can put the big one there. I'm wondering if it's too many. I think as I'm doing this, I, I don't think it's too many. It was just I didn't have everything in the right sizes. And I do have one more snowflake left up at the top. And I'm thinking about, okay, that's bad that I have one more snowflake left, but I can always use that in my December daily somewhere. But then I think maybe I can put it down here and then I will use all of these snowflakes, which would be awesome. I love this layout so much it's cool that I can use them all and there one dropped off so I need to get that one glued on and I have the other one in my hand. So once I do that I've used all the snowflakes up, yay, clapping for myself and then I'll go back later in Journal in Blue. Here's the still shots and a couple of detail shots. Hope you guys are all well and I'll be back with another layout again soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.